Hello everybody, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, long time no see from me. It's been, uh, what, five, five or six days, four or five days, something like that, since uh, my last video update. I believe it was uh, talking about Za making her nest. And let me tell you something, she ain't pulled no hair yet. I'm hoping she will tonight uh, because it's uh, like day 29 and it's supposed to be somewhere between day 28 and 31 that they give birth. And I believe today's 29, it might be 28. But I've been giving her plenty of hay and not only, I mean, she built a condo, not a nest. I mean, she literally built a condo. It looks so comfy. I kind of want to crawl up in there and relax. So, you know, she's a first time mom. Uh, so the nest building is apparently genetic and she's been rocking it for about three days. Like I literally, built it myself I shoved all the straw in there and she pulled every single piece of it completely out and started over and redid it so uh, yeah uh, she knows how to build a nest she's, she's rocking it pretty hard um, but that's neither here nor there uh, the gardens doing average uh, I'm probably I got and uh, the uh, cabbage moths or whatever you call them they attacked the collards and, and uh, really stunted their growth so what I did is I just been feeding the collard grains to uh, the pregnant mama, Za, uh, along with some celery and some lettuce and fresh grass, you know, all the good stuff. Call, uh, clover, they love clover. Um, so I'm probably going to do away with the collards since I have plenty of them and I really didn't, um, I didn't know that's what those seeds were when I planted them in the first place. They were kind of like an accident. So I'm probably going to get going and, and pull the collards out and uh, go ahead and plant my uh, okra and um, some cantaloupe and some watermelon uh, and see what happens with that. Um, the bell pepper never really did anything. Uh, I don't know if it was just too long before it was transplanted because it was massive when I got it, uh, but it, it just never really did anything. I mean, I I force fed it some rabbit manure the whole nine yards and it just it's just never done nothing. And the weird thing is, is that has always been my luck with bell peppers for some reason. I'm missing a part of that equation, uh, so I'll have to work on that. Um, the tomato that I thought I killed that looked literally dead I swapped out the nutrients it came back to life um, it still looks like it got its butt kicked but it's alive and it's uh, it's still producing tomatoes um, the experiment all the way on the end the very last tomato I mixed up a batch of hydroponic nutrients and that's what I watered it with a gallon of hydroponic nutrients and in the last week its color has changed it's um, quite a bit darker and it's it's uh, it's grown probably 10% more than the other two that are planted in soil so uh, I think the next batch I do is I am going to actually water all of my plants with the hydroponic nutrients instead of just plain water uh, so that'll give them like an extra boost so I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around with that a little bit and see see how it works but I think it'll do pretty good um, Let's see the hot peppers the cayennes are growing like crazy uh, the potatoes I don't know what's wrong with my Frankenstein potatoes they still have not put out flower one and I'm already past the 90 days I'm over a hundred days um, so it's getting close to the four month mark at the end of this month or the first of next month will be four months since I planted those seed potatoes and they are still growing like crazy no flowers just a whole lot of green so we're gonna see what happens um, on to the real news. Uh, tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, I am premiering a new show um, that I came up with about a week ago. Uh, it is called The Prepper Summit. And the basis for this show is at least once a month, maybe twice a month, um, I'm going to do my best to bring together two maybe three but this week it's only two two preppers from completely different areas in the country or in the world um, to get different perspectives on uh, uh, cost analysis of the different preps the, the, the cost of the food the cost of the fuel um, overall mood of the nation so to speak in their area um, I think it's a really interesting uh, concept um, especially if, if I can get lucky like I did tonight uh, with my two guests um, believe it or not 
uh, none other than the Angry Prepper and Homestead Oz will be joining me tonight at 8 p.m. Uh, and you literally cannot get further apart than those two on the globe. I mean, Angry Prepper's in New York City and Homestead Oz is in Australia. Not only are those two separate countries, but they're two separate continents. I mean, they're completely apart. Um, it's summertime here, it's wintertime there. So, I mean, it's, it's a really good contrast, a really, really good contrast for the, some of the questions that I've come up with tonight. Um, this is the, uh, like I said, the pilot episode, the first episode. Uh, we're just going to have fun with it. Um, we're going to meet each other. We're going to, I've come up with several really good, I think really good questions uh, that, that, that will enable them to play off of each other with their strengths and weaknesses as far as prepping goes. Not their personal strengths and weaknesses, but the availability of supplies and, and things like that in the two separate areas um, on opposite sides of the globe. Uh, so hopefully um, this will take off. Like I said, I plan on doing it at least once a month. If it really does good, uh, maybe we'll do it bi-monthly, twice a month, and I'll set the canning. Um, so it's going to be really awesome. So no, we're not canning tonight. Tonight is going to be the Prepper Summit, the very first session. Uh, it's 8 p.m. Eastern. Please join us if you can. Um, I think it's going to be really, really awesome. I'm excited. I'm actually nervous. I'm excited. Uh, so uh, wish me luck. I hope you guys pop in. And... Uh, show your support uh thanks for everything and cross your fingers maybe i'll have some uh baby bunnies uh first thing in the morning and i will uh video it and keep you guys posted uh please like share subscribe and all that good stuff and i'll talk to you guys uh, later tonight about 8 p.m see you then